No! 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 You have your evidence! Now, if you help me out... You must die, 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 die. We'll be. <sighs> you know, I can't believe the first time I reacted to a FNAF VHS tape was over two years ago already, man. Time seriously flies. I still remember the first time I started seeing these things emerge and the excitement I felt within. It was like a FNAF VHS tape? <laughs> <laughs> See the thing about that trend? It never went anywhere, and this trend only continued more and more, and people are still making incredible VHS tape series to this day. You know what we're about to do? We're gonna check out some new ones! So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to another reaction video, where today we are delving back into the Five Nights at Freddy's universe, more specifically that VHS side, because goodness me, there looks to be some creepy things on the horizon. I have, I believe, four different creators' work that we're gonna be reacting to, all of them themed around Five Nights at Freddy's, perhaps the different events, I, I literally don't even know, guys. One thing I think we all know though is that I've spoken way more than enough in this intro. We all know what FNAF VHS is and if you don't, and yeah, yeah prepare yeah, for something incredible. incredible. If you guys want to see more stuff like this though, I think you know exactly what to do. There is another FNAF series out there which I may check out, which if so, will be an hour plus series and it looks amazing. Now onto the submissions. This first one comes from MyCG023. Dang, that's a unique name. This is called Confidential Lobotomy, October 24th, 1983. You remember that frontal lobe that went missing? I think this is all about that. Let's go. Oh, man. I'm feeling this, man. So much. Ah, oh, it's been a while. Okay, hang on. First person? We're seeing this as William. We got vitals, documents, MRI scan. Wait, what? Okay, so William is operating this stuff. Oh, someone could be on the machine. Oh, wait, wait. Is this of the person who had the bike go down? The missing frontal lobe? No way. So we're seeing that live... Vi vitals, I guess. He's checking out the MRI so we can see. There's the brain. Hold up. Whoa. This is a weird look into this side of the universe. Start that scan. Okay. Ugh. See, this feels real, man. No response located. What do you mean by that? Start that scan. Try that again. Come on. We gotta get something here. Whoa. Is that the heart rate? Is it jumping up like that? I don't know. St okay, we still get no response though. Okay, what, what's, what's going on? The machinery broke? Maybe, he, oh, he might be doing... Oh. They flatlined? Yeah, we got proof of no response and a reason why. They ain't even breathing anymore, William. What are you gonna do? Don't... They're back? Wait, that now nah, that's still out cold, William. Come on, man. A new scan ain't gonna do anything. Okay, I, I need to know more what's going on. There's like small creepy hints, but then it just goes dead. He keeps scanning. This dude's addicted to scanning this thing. No response. It's the flattest line in existence, buddy. For real. Uh... Is this what he wanted? That's a big chunk missing from that green brain, huh? The whole front piece missing. Oh, they, okay, thank you for those uh, captions right there. The hippocampus, I think that said. Response confirmed, so there's something still there from this victim, they're still okay, they're alive? Well, they, they ain't okay, okay, all right. What am I trying to, conversion complete. The, is it the response? Like it converts the response into like, uh, a real thing. Oh, there's another page here. He's heading on over. This is like ancient machinery. You can see how long it takes to load up as well. Video? Wait, how do you get video feed from this? What? This is very eerie. Okay, yeah, let's check it. Oh, wow. We see the whole scan. That's what we're trying to find. What am I seeing? There they are, there's Fred Bear, there's Spring Bonnie, they're performing on the stage. Someone's got the video camera there, recording them. Is that supposed to be the cast? Yo, that's Shadow Bonnie. Oh, Spring Trap, I can't tell though with the form. Oh, he's alive too, no way. He deceives me. Okay, I think that might be, let's <laughs> try to translate the song. Oh, hey guys. Oh, that's really eerie. 
It's like he's taking control. Yeah. Drop the video. Wait, what? Ooh. That's actually messed up. Dude. Oh, I'm getting tingles from this. The two victims? The three victims? Wait, why was the third? Holy crap, this is creepy. Uh, can I come through? What is that, security? They just stare at you the whole time. Who the hell? Yeah, you gotta go in. You gotta go in. Close that door behind you. They're in no rush. That's just something about hiding again, by the way. Sometimes. Maybe they make more sense than I'm thinking. Slowly in there. Slowly in there. So what, you found this out of an MRI scan? What is this? I'm so confused. I don't think so. Oh, this place is comp- You run to it? Oh, I would not do this. Man, there's a reason this is not supposed to be seen. What the heck is going on? They look like trophies almost, the way they're presented. This is the parts and service room, I guess? Is this how this one went down? The, uh... <laughs> Holy crap, that actually scared the crap out of me. And they're all looking. That's just like a FNAF 1. Okay, this dude just fell in the back rooms. They got a whole army of these things? Don't tell me there's a soul in every single one. What the heck? Why would they have so many of them? What would Yo, he, he fell in, like, Saturn gravity, you know, like, that was so quick. That dude literally just clipped into the back rooms. There was no meme here, we saw it. Back rooms is canon. Some kind of other multi-dimensional universe here. There is something going on. I would not want to walk between those things, dude. Oh, but what choice do you got? What even is that? This dude, he has to be like, this cannot be real. It mocks. It can't be a real thing that he's seeing here. Surely not. Where'd you come from? Freaking bowling pinhead? Who even was that? Was that the puppet? It's like, we see these things, but this main character... is relatively calm. He shouldn't be. Not in a situation like that. How did it interfere? The amygdala. Oh, isn't that the fight or flight receptor of the brain? You know, what kind of determines when to run? Or if you should stand your ground? Yeah, fear. There it is. There it is. Dang. This is awesome. What? This is so cool. So maybe the brain is seeing this. It triggered that fight or flight when it saw that. I don't know. Is it like, is he like running tests on the victim? If so, and he's playing this video back, that is actually kind of cruel. That's like sadistic. And it is William doing it. We know it's Mr. Afton. Matches the guy. Like matches the sort of things you'd expect a guy like him to do. Gosh. Just when you think having that happen couldn't be the worst of it, then just William subjects them to even more experiments. What are you looking at? What is that? Like a daisy? Hello? It can't! This cannot be real! They're all seeing him! Yeah, run, bud. Is he- Oh, I think he's on the hands and knees. He's like crawling here. It's like a dream. It's like a lucid trip. None of this is real. Don't even look at them. Too much concentration on what's not real. Fo I would focus on the darkness in front of me and calling to it, even though we don't know what awaits in there. Wait. Why must he torment me? These captions are coming in clutch right now. Talking about William, why must William torment him? It can't be real. It's like he's feeding them an unrealistic thing. They all got little Fredbear heads on the little toys. Why would he do this to someone? Like, put it, it's like a dream. And you just, you know, you kind of go with the dream no matter what. It's like William is able to see what his dr this kid's dreams are now. Like, feeding in. It's kind of messed up. So there's a, oh, he just plunges down. Oh, and he falls. Wow, how is he gonna survive? He hit the floor at about 200 miles per hour. And he get, we see, he got back up. Unfazed by this, definitely in a dream. Definitely in a dream. So what's behind the door, huh? What is that? Wait, purple? Is that him? There is someone standing there. It's one of the people who fell victim, I think. What could you do in this situation? Go up on him. Hey, get... Oh! 
Is that the soul? Or has that become like the guardian of him? Oh, he knows someone else is here, the presence. Oh. He hits the exorcism with the head. Yeah. Wait, who's that? What the f- Is that who got us? Is it all coming back? Oh, this is so confusing, but demented, she whispers my fate, he says. A crying child, man. This is so awesome. This is so sick. Hey, hello. get this dude out of here, man. Hello. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, don't hit me with the hellos. I don't want to hear it. So many. Is this like the FNAF 3 mini game with the balloons? You know, or maybe that's what we were seeing. This is complete nightmare realm. Through and through. No one want to be here. Oh my god. What would you do if you just appeared in that situation? Where would you go? And they all are. You see that guy in the middle? <laughs> Don't look right. Slightly uncanny. Slightly demented. Oh, we just walked straight past them. What? Shaking his head up. Look at this wobble head. He knows what I fear. Oh, this is like a... That became a complete nightmare. Cannot start video feed. Zero signals found. Did the, the kid pass away? Was it too much, all the torment? Check them vials, man. I think they're gonna be flat. Wait for it, wait for it. He's checking them, guys. Come on, load up. There's still something there. Is that the heart rate? 281? It fluctuates between 281 to 135. Whoa, how can a heart rate jump around that much? That is like cardiac arrest central. That went down. Wait, all the vials came back. We got the... There's oxygen in his blood and everything now. Did he... He came back to life? Hold up, what? There's a steady heart rate. What? What? Dude, that ending just went so weird though. That was like in depth, hold up. The idea of tapping into someone's dreams and actually recording them via uh, radio waves and magnetic fields from the analog technology era. Yeah, that's why I was thinking like, that was that kid's dream. That's why none of it made sense and it was so nightmarish. It's kind of sickening that William was able to really see what this person was dreaming and tap into all that and get an idea of what scares people the most. We know he's all about that. That makes me feel like that would be some sort of pleasure that this dude would get. You know what is actually weird is that there has been scientific experiments done where we can't directly see like it visuals, like a video feed of what people are dreaming about, but we can look at the, the different waves and stuff that the brain kind of transmits out and we can know based on those waves roughly what someone is dreaming about. For example, if there's a person in their dream, it associates it with a specific type of wave. If if there's a vehicle, if there's a specific object, it's so bizarre. It's like, this is almost real, but in like a more futuristic, I guess, world where they're actually able to see the video feed. Guys, this video has 4,000 views. This thing deserves like two zeros on the end. Like this is some, this is A tier when it comes to like FNAF VHS. That was amazing. Thankfully, we have another one from this talented creator. This next one is called FE Archives, November the 10th, 1987. So this is after what we've just seen. 1987. Is it Fazbear Entertainment Archives? Maybe? Ugh. A freak of these dudes. I don't recognize these as like the animatronics we're used to. They take the tape out. Oh, they put the new one in. Okay, got a nice little jingle right there. The jingles keep coming, November 10th, 87. Ooh, okay. Some nice music, same loading style though. Don't tell me it's gonna say Welcome William. I don't wanna hear it. Wait, what is this? All right. Uh, yep. They're moving. They're jig. They were jigging. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Okay. Step right up and join us. They hit the. Why would they pause? So, uh, oh, the whoa. the reset controls are working fine. The color correction and timestamps, all that's working a okay. Yeah, they're okay. Working Ooh. according to function. All right. 
Now, remember, we need to have this footage done before the end of the week to send over to corporate for further review. Is that is that like the MatPat voice plugin thing that people use, but just pitch shifted down a little bit? These things aren't cheap for nothing. So anything out of the ordinary you see, or anything you spot that doesn't seem right, just uh, be sure to write them down on your report note to then hand over to manufacturer. I got it. Is safe. I got it. He's got it. He says it. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, bosses. Been a long day with getting all this set up and running. All right. That's what I thought. Data. Also, one little quick word of consideration before I let you go. Let's hear it, boss. If the monitors or even the TCR system start acting up, just uh, be sure to do a quick troubleshoot restart on them before it gets any worse. And Okay. Uh, Stop the problem see. before it gets worse. I see uh, that. I see that. Don't neglect it. Be sure it. to clock out at 6 whenever you're done. Yep. Wait, is this a night we'll shift? Do. And Wait. try not to be so handsy with the brightness and contrast this time round. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Heard you loud and clear. Good. So, yeah. They're trying Have to shoot night, like a Rodney. video. All right. Say his name. <sighs> All right, I. He didn't say his boss's name. Yeah. He's tired though. He's well, here until 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. to get the thing started. Good luck, bud. We bring to you this day a time full of excitement. Okay. What? It, okay. There we go. We see Toy Freddy back there as well. So is this is like the FNAF 2 toy animatronics? To win a prize at one of our many places you win. Can't do this dude. So far. A place where there's food for every taste bud. You'll never know where the mm -hmm. fun is here. Look at that. Oh, Selling it. Not to mention the entertainment. Hey. <laughs> What is voice on? Okay, no. let's start uh, with a number to help us get on with the show. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoa uh, oh, oh okay, stop no, it. No, 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 Remember? No, no, start. Yeah, you got to. What the heck? Is he seeing them live or is this pre-recorded? <sighs> what the hell is wrong with this thing? If only we knew, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, wait for it. I'm losing it. You're losing it. It's just... Okay. <sighs> His eyes are gone. Number to help us get on with the show. All right. The next we're going. Yeah. Probably just see. Hey, hear the beats coming in. What is that? Hey. Whoa, hold on the beat. Oh. Zoom in. Bro, this is like haunted. There are entities in all kinds. <sighs> Come on. This damn slow media file. That would suck if you see okay. something like that and you have to wait. Finally. About time. God. What the freak what? is that? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay. Okay. Um, no, 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 no! You didn't! What are Rest they, they oh my gosh, I'm banging on the door though! Uh. I hate the contrast in pacing. Man, it is hard though. All the action to just quiet. Oh man, it's, it gives me shivers. I'm feeling the tears form. Come on, tear ducks, control it. Who's this man? It's Freddy. There is more and more. More and more of these animatronics. It's still going. What? He said like a security announcement and then thank you and slammed that phone down. Why are those doors opening? Why is there more of them congregating, man? The doors are closed. His eye- okay, how did you do that? Hey, listen, don't look at me! You see in the back also. Oh, this is live, man. Ah, you probably wanted to check the one at the back with the glowy eyes. They're all so jacked up. There you go. Who? Yo, that thing had form. Hold up. It's like another version of them. But this one, there is something within it. Trapped away, there is a different form of malfunction in there. It's like... I... Oh. Ah! Okay. Oh! I was about to start bopping my head to the beat, but you know, I'm glad you gave me the pixelated video feel like that. Before the loud jump scare, the puppet was there too. Hey, hold on, what were we in? What is this, man? It's like that 90s, it's like one of the first animations in the world. I think this is. I think this is like one of the uh, when they were first learning what 3D animation was, and this is like decades old. I might be wrong, but okay, no, I don't remember this in that one. You, those eyes don't, oh my. 
I don't like it, guys. I, this is actually freaking me out so much. This is messed up. This is actually messed up. You know, I kind of liked it when you was in the dark mode, but I ain't gonna lie. Who's playing that music? This is honestly very freaky. This is... Hey, birthday boy, how you doing? You on the, uh... The non- Wait, what's- what's it- what are they covering up? There's something censored there. Maybe a time, maybe a date? Oh, he, his head is just gone then. Alright, cool. Hey, take that! <laughs> is that trying to say that in this one he's the puppet? Yo, he ran past without that picture. Slap that thing on and ran. Oh, he's hitting me with that. You know when dolls break and they always have like the one eye which is like that? Why are you back here? Buddy, get a new job. Don't don't look at these suits. These suits don't want to be looked at. Okay. I don't think you want these suits looking at you, more importantly. I sure as heck wouldn't. Hey, what's that? What's going on? There's one behind there. It's just, this is like the broken down parts here. They, they were all alive that we saw them, right? Didn't we see them all standing there? Maybe this is post? Okay, what suit is that? What is that, prototype suit? Never seen that one before. Dude, I'd get the freak out of there immediately. Why would you be in this place? Buddy wants death. You know what, guys? May not have saw it. But we sure as heck know what went down, don't we? The talent just seeping through from this creator. It's such a shame to see 1.2k views in five, five months. Like, this is astounding with the quality. You know what I'm trying to say, guys? Like, this is a level up from what we were seeing before. Unbelievable. There's a full story here, too. Big props, my CG. You did a fantastic job, but now we're going to be moving over to another creator. The next person on our list is called Spectre. They made a short call at the maintenance report. A police recovered tape, tape of, of the manager's office of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Pizza. Finally, Finally, it can, it can be, released be released to the public, public after 22, 22 years. years. Some things, though, are best left forgotten about. Straight away! Did we- Oh, that's interesting. So we showed just the ending. Right, huh? That's kind of cool. Different- Oh, they- We got full hand held, man. All right. Okay. So I've managed to finally roll this thing in this here. This is so dope. I guess let's go ahead and get started now. I gotta give immediate just, like- uh, props for this one because we're so used to VHS being a static camera for like a minute and just some fuzz and changes This is like full-fledged handheld going into things. This is gonna give a really cool perspective Boss wants me to run through this maintenance report So hopefully you can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately big fan uh, of this We're also opening a new location next year So what's most likely gonna happen is I'm gonna have to strip this thing apart so we can use it for a spare parts See for this for guy animatronic models. It's another day. So let's isn't go ahead it? and see what I need to do first Please, like, you, this is cool, wow. Test. All right then, <laughs> we will need as many parts as we can salvage from uh -huh. our remaining animatronics. These see may that? include servos, wires, circuit boards, or Everything. pieces from the endoskeleton. Strip it. Insert the floppy disk titled animatronic movement test program into the computer to test okay. each of the animatronics joint movements. Got you. Okay, sounds simple enough. Like, it's just another day in the life of this guy. There's All nothing right, weird, get guys. On. He's chilling. Get this thing hooked up like, this was, how this movement test goes. This is like vlogging, before vlogging was popular. Let's this guy revolutionized. See. Nice did. Just a shame he had to go, you know, get taken out by that freaking animatronic, ah, bro. Here it is. Whoa! Oh, this is okay. Look at the integration, guys. How? Do, okay, how are they doing this? I'm serious. How? Wait. How the freak are people integrating stuff like that? We can see every like bend in the skin and fiber movement. Like this is insane. I am so impressed by this community, man. Gosh. Sometimes I wish I could learn how to do this. I really do, but. Man, videos take up too much time. Awesome. I like it because, like, here, this is real, right? It's real. It's not no, like, quick computer load, like, booting up. This is slow. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's see here. What we got? Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. Mm hmm. Boink, boink, boink. Okay. And then right. we'll just go down the rest of the body. Okay, let's see it. Oh, they're loud. Wow. I mean, it's old school tech. This ain't no highly advanced stuff. Okay, well then. They can't move quick. Looks like the neck and jaw joints are functioning normally. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this camera down a bit so I can. All right. Huh. That's 
strange. <laughs> I guess there's some kind of circuit malfunction. I'm not sure why it's... This is this is okay. messed up, guys. This is actual. This is actual horror. This is genuine oh, horror. All right. You know she's not scared though. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected, right? That was Get weird. Get it all rebooted, and then we'll pick up where we left off. That was strange, though. That was very strange. Oh, he's okay, right behind so it. Just checking the circuits now. Remember, on the back guys. Of the head here. Nothing should be abnormal here. It's just it might another be check. Shorted. He's controlled the neck and jaw uh, servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are that? completely gutted and replaced. Did we see on the back of the animatronic endoskeleton head? I'd, I want to believe it's rust, but rust means moisture was connected and hit this thing anyway. Okay, hold up. Thankfully, I'm not repairing this piece of junk, so I guess I'll just leave everything how it is and move on to the next one. Sure? Sure. <clears throat> All right, so let's just another day. Years. Just another day, guys. A R S. Spy it right. I want yeah. Every time, oh. I'm so worried he's gonna be. Why aren't they moving? Okay, so the ears are. E A R S. They broken? He, maybe he's just playing arrogant now. He's like, no, All right. I'm doing it. So if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected to the head. Wow. So I guess the ears don't work either. Well, the face and the head works. Right, it's let's fine though. The arms instead, I guess. Okay. You can see it typing on the computer screen too. It's so cool. Hey, there we go. Gonna drop it. Oh no, it's just. Yep, that works fine. Okay, that seems to be working fine. I guess the other arm Great. only needs to At move like this. Something from the from the guitar. So let's okay, try the other that. one now. The other arm should just move. It shouldn't. Shouldn't do anything else. Oh, it. Okay, it moves all the way out. Why well, they make him T-pose? Every single finger! Jesus Christ! That scared me! I thought... He broke his armor. Oh, that's rusty and crusty. Look at that thing Damn. flaking. Okay. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. All of these parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly surprise me. I mean, they're, they're old, so, I mean, like, uh, I might be able to salvage the forearm and hand, but I don't know how. Guys, it's crazy Looks to like think. I'll only be able to entirely salvage the left arm, though. Which, I right. guess, is better than nothing. In just a few minutes, we're gonna see Damn, the end of this, this guy. Thing stinks. Okay. Hey, Rush shouldn't so smell it. Should. This but... left arm now before something kills it too, so I can at least salvage something from this thing. I've never known Rush to smell to the extent of putrid. You know, like it's got that smell to it, but it ain't over well. All right. So as you can see here, I managed to get the it's left arm with taken off. It took a bit of force and of course some know-how, but here it is. Guitar and gone. As you arm can gone. See, the wires are cut, but still intact enough to be rewired to anything else. All right. So hopefully I'll be able to salvage everything that I haven't tested already. Good luck. But the legs easily stuff. that right shoulder joint just snapped. I highly doubt it'll be that easy. It's like a training tape. This should have been for other All people right. Let's doing this job after. Now. We're going lower down that body. Hey, stop talking when he's, uh, he's doing that. Crap. Oh, it's just a basic movement. Man. Looks good. I mean, this thing might as well just collapse. Right in front oh, of me. that don't look I'm good then. My bad. They want me to salvage anything from it at all. State. All right, let's move on to the legs. Yep, check those legs. Uh, Get those legs moving. Leg. Don't. If it runs at me, I'm fighting. Every time he spins around, guys. All right. It's so slow. How could this thing become a danger? Okay, those seem to be working fine. Are these involuntary movements because of the programming? But it can be controlled, you know, fully. Oh my gosh, guys! I want to turn my I want to turn my auto down. I'm scared. I'm actually scared of this thing. It, it feels too real. This whole situation. Right. Both legs seem to be working fine. It's like a six-minute non-edited series of events. Else, because I'll still need this thing standing. You see the OGA, whole thing. Fabric exterior oh. See, New yep. animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. Oh. Which means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer as possible. The most important of which are the hard to replicate Something features such as it's the getting head, louder. face, and oh, Jesus! <laughs> why? Why is? Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, forgot to turn the computer off. This is this Whew. is freaking. Okay, so uh, the anyways, full scare. It sounds like I'm just 
salvaging the exterior layer now. We saw the head move. Let me go ahead and take I the am other so end frightened of this. Guys, it's freaking sentient. He's right in. You get in there. Get those eye sockets out. Pop them out, you know? Don't want this thing seeing us. Don't want this thing seeing us, right? Is this how he becomes Withered Bonnie? There's full integration here of like the hands and everything. It's awesome. All right. With that, that should be everything. I'll pop the head, like okay, the head so off. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition oh, to that, I also went ahead goodness. and took off the foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining exterior pieces I... that weren't turned up and ruined. Great, so, great. All of those endo parts, along with their exterior pieces, can be boxed up and shipped off. Yeah, now get out of here. I ain't all doing right, this so job no more. That's about everything I can salvage from this thing so far. Um, Just leave the it. thing that could also go, but it's giving me a hard time right now. Is the head plate here? For okay. some reason, it won't budge. It's and got. I it feels no like this is why. the origins I've of Withered Bonnie. I've anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. Man. However, I do remember the report naming the headpiece specifically, so. That means it's one of the main pieces they want. All right, so I okay. Know. I guess let me give it to the people. At it until something gives, then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. So he's gonna try and take the headpiece off. All right. After a bit of force and a few. It extra is. Cuts, I mean, it's with it, Bonnie. Off, as you can see down there. So All I right. figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head. All right, which that's is why. Very they're... unusual. So if I were to try Why? and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. We but see that. they did make it sound like they only wanted the actual face of the animatronic. Which you got? down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. Good work. So good work, sir. That, then. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Check okay, that one off the list. Let's see. Odor report. No much. Okay, then. Bro, this thing got stinky butt. We've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors wow. emitting from the animatronic. What the yeah, freak? Yeah. Bro, are we seeing point number four? This can't be real. This is so, so unusual. Like, everything about this is just uncanny and creepy to the next level. These odors have been described as rotten. Yep. yep. So he's smelling it too. Something died inside it. Too specific. We perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped within its shape. Right. Mm. Press down both of the shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it, not again. Not again, so this is a common oh. occur- I guess the power went out. Again, yeah, he I might says? have tripped a breaker or something with all that oh, computer my. commotion. No, this is not a good situation to Alright. He didn't read the power four. back on and- He missed point four. Finish up. But we saw it, you know? That's why this guy didn't make it out, huh? What the? They lock him in. Hey, let me out, guys. This isn't funny. So there's uh, other people working with him here. Man, they, the they just didn't like his vlog what? stuff. Where'd it go? How can it hide? There's nowhere to hide in here. Oh, really? Right now? Come on, come on. <gasps> what? 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 Is... Oh, why that's is so it... weird? Oh God. What the? What the? He, wait, he got away? Jesus Christ, what that was, was that? so messed up. You hear him crying like a child? Oh, oh no, I need an ambulance. How do they just cut the whole video? Just like that, man. They really did show us the last moments of that video at the very beginning. Building up, knowing what to expect, the calmness of the contrast of this guy doing his average shift versus what we saw makes this incredibly unsettling. This final video we are going to watch from the same creator, Spectre, is called Paranormal Investigation. This dude is making some wild videos. Holy crap, I never knew about this creator before, but they are making some pretty good stuff. Alright, here we go. Pop that tape in. This is like a 20 minute video here, guys. Holy crap. This All turned right. into quite the big Got episode, a bit of an huh? unusual call today, but... A job's still a job, I guess. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Oh, this dude's a, a, like a paranormal see. guy. The place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. It's just so sick! Uh, normally, I'd get called into places that are abandoned wow. or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. But, uh, 
The strip mall itself looks pretty new, and the manager oh, told is... me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. Such a breath of fresh air, like... We're so used to just being the night guard. We see these takes on this bigger world here, and we can really, like, breathe it in, knowing the lore and the rough gameplay ideas of FNAF. That's all we need to go on. The rest of it, we can just use and piece together in our own head. He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses, and that they might have to close this location Different and reopen ones. it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. Different ones nearby. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. All right. Let's so see, let's, let's see, see here. All right. Neat uh, Ryan. They've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. It's not Sometimes normal. Sometimes said property will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. Strange. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about where basically Sarah. a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror oh. and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. A few employees will often what? feel a tense presence when working on or next to the animatronics, this particularly weird, at man. Okay. Night shift okay. workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours it keeps when the doors are locked. Like when they go to assess the situation and figure out how the child accidentally got locked in, they uh -huh. are nowhere to be found. And some weird. have even disappeared in full view of a few employees. Okay, now how when can you explain the that? Camera footage, these children seem to rage in age and sex, but will consistently look between the ages of six and 11. All right. And that's so all she wrote. Weird. So, based off so that information about alone, it. my guess is that this is some sort of poltergeist. Uh, it does Kinda. sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact with one of them. Good luck with that, sir. The thing is, if no one's been possessed or has died yet, then it seems these entities may not be violent or demons or anything like that. So what is these it? very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. That's kind of sad. But again, we'll know for sure until we're in there. It's such a, like, if you think about that as a concept, it's kind of sad. Like, if they're just simply trying to communicate with these children, they're like, begging for help in a language these, of course, real living children don't know. And then they've run away crying. How much that feel is that trap soul? Even more torment. All right, I believe that's everything I need. Yep, that's everything. Right. Again, with a great integration. I'm so excited to see this integration, though. Boom, hops down. Like, the sound design is on point. What businesses we got here? I can't even see those names. It's like a sort of, um... Okay, I was like told the door should be unlocked and nobody should be inside the building. Okay. So, let's see what's up with this place. It's cool. It's so, it feels real. It feels like something you'd find out here in, like, the 90s, man. It gives me odd nostalgia. It, look, it kind of mirrors that sort of stuff so well. There it is. We see it. And... Oh. Excuse me. Oh, they really did leave those doors open, huh? I don't care about anyone breaking. I guess he knew we were here. Okay, so the power to the building should be cut entirely. Do you want that power on? All right, that seems to be the case. Try the lights. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely. You just to make this. sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could roll out the possibility of it being the power. Also, okay. we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. All but of course, stuff. this unfortunately means that I have to work in the dark. Oh, uh, which is not good. I mean, dude. It freaks me out thinking All about right. this. Let's How do you think this EMF guy feels? Let's get the reader out and let's see. Oh, that no. Well, sh okay. Where's he? So I was told that all of their animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. Who the freak was that to the right-hand side? Did we see that? Who was that right there? I think that might be Foxy. Should Hold be up. On I'm sorry, stage guys. I'm shut sorry. Down. And um, there seems to be one missing. He needed that poop break. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. Oh, there he and, is. Okay. Uh, it code. doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Where's he at? Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet, though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. He's very calm about this, you know? He's Regardless, like... Regardless, let's, uh... Go ahead and get set up here. Makes it feel more real. Again, like a professional. Still not jumping to the most skeptical conclusions. Okay, he's got the EMF oh, reader. Let's see he's what got... the EMF reader picks up. Yeah. Beep. Let's see what we got. Phasmophobia told me all about this thing, guys. You get close to something, it starts picking up readings. You know you've got something. Oh, well, that thing just jumped up like that. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. He's, look how calm he is about this whole thing. I like how this isn't about, like, crazy weird build-up sounds and whatever else. It just immerses you as much as it can. Getting a few blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Ooh. Oh, here we go. He spoke too soon. He's got full read right here. right here. What are we going to do, huh? 
It's, it's roughly around that spot. There is a definite paranormal entity, or there's at least something different here. Yeah, it seems to be in this area. So Let's we've got go to concentrate. Spirit box, then. Spirit box is like, I, I don't know how it works. I think it flicks between lots of different frequencies. Uh, and sometimes they say it can be a way for spirits to be able to communicate in between using those frequencies and pass through a message. But I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. There it goes. That's an EMF reader right there. Or spirit box, excuse me. You hear it? It's trying to... All right, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. I love how he talks like a game show host. I need you no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. He gives it the options. Hey. <laughs> My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Sean. Whoa, sh here we go. Okay, just so I can that make was sure that it wasn't voice. a coincidence, can you say my name again? Yeah. Sean. Oh! All right, thank you. That's so polite! Now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, Ooh. can you tell me your name? Oh, but I'm, I'm nervous. Susie. Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? I like how he's like clarifying. He's not just running with it. Okay. We got a Susie. Susie. We got a Susie in here. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? This is a creepy question to ask. They're here. They're here. Who's how they, Susie? What are their names? How many? Do you know their names, Susie? Oh, he bought in. All right, well, if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. She just knows that some, How old are you, here. Susie? Do you remember your age? I'm going to say eight. I'm guessing eight. eight. Yeah, eight. let's go! Let's okay. go! So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. All right, Susie. I guess more to the point. How'd you How die? How'd you die? Oh, it's like that. Wow. Freddy. Do you remember how you died? Man, it's gonna be something like that, like a one word. I'm know? not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you We're and why you're for here. You. If you're uncomfortable telling me, murder. murder? Straight to it. Who murdered? Whoa, hey, Susie ain't messing around. Do you remember this person's name? Come on, paying the culpa, I should say. Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were murdered by a bunny? Or what's inside there? Maybe she meant Donnie? Like a Donnie? Yeah. Wait, was that a yes? A yes to what? <laughs> Alright then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? Like no. back. A knife? What? Susie, was this a person dressed oh, like a bunny? Oh! Of course. Yeah. Holy sh. Bro, you get out of here and you call 911, you get back up now. Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Yeah, he's playing that bag like, hold up, okay. I just got some. Holy shit. That's a break. So there might have been a murder or something that happened here. Restaurant <sighs> owners said that they had operated here for five years straight, and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So a recent So this murder. may have been something that happened pretty recently. Wow. But I have no idea no what that actually it? means, though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough. Maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on. Or maybe yeah, the spirit is just lying to me. I have no idea. Yeah, I'll so have to really show this to the restaurant options. owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security camera. Is he gonna leave then? But let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. He's They're fairly coherent around. and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which okay. is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. It was, yeah. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. It was quite convincing, because it was like... Multiple times they would, con like, confirm oh, or even right. the name. Are you still there, Susie? Like, he's saying Susie. Wait, is someone else gonna... Susie, can you still hear me? What about if William comes in? Come on, dude, I'm getting scared. Uh, Just to the one. idea. Oh, she's out. She's like, no, nah, I'm zipping out. If there are any spirits still in the room with me, please make your presence known. Oh, no, this is really terrifying, guys. I would have to work in the light. This is why I would never do this job. He's searching. Oh, he's going all the way around. I thought he was going out to the exit. I was going to say... Oh. 
I don't know if the camera caught that, but I think I just heard a chair move. Oh, you see that thing? The EMF is picking up slightly too. Right there. That's at least where the sound came from. Could be the chair. It's right next to my flashlight too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Yeah, let us know. Be loud. Come on. Are you sitting down right here? Oh, they want us to sit. It's like off. Off? Mm. Do you want the flashlight off? They say yes, I'm quitting. Okay, those are brand new batteries. This dude's gonna die and not see anything. Okay, those are brand so, new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. He didn't cut his own flashlight. That thing cut out on his own accord. Yeah, look at that. Still works. What? Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? We sit quietly and we listen. Yeah. This is a... Off again? What else do you want me to turn off? Oh, it's close off? What are you talking about? I ain't doing that. Noise. Noise? Oh. You want me to turn the spirit oh. box off? Okay, okay. So if flashlight's... I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? How? All right, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off for now. Get your flashlight back on, All right, on, I turned the noise off. Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just what want to have a conversation with you. Can you tell me where you are right now? If you hear something, I'm done, the bro. What is that noise? What the f is that? We don't see it. Get that flashlight. Hello? What did he see? I don't know if the camera could see that, but I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. Wait, can we see? Let me go back. I want to see if we can see that. I don't know if the camera could see Even that, he's getting scared now. But I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. What an... Oh, what a horrific concept here. Truly there should be no one here but me. Someone playing a sick prank? Like, this is obviously, even as a paranormal hunter, this is not an, a normal going on. So I'm going to have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just was. Yeah, But please. it looked like a shallow end of a person standing next to these pinball machines. I didn't see this it. This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. No. 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 This is where you leave. What? You have... You have your evidence. Bro, I don't understand why this man is still here. I don't. No, I do not try that door, guys. I leave immediately. We heard about apparitions. Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked, too. What? On, that was... Like, luring them back there? Is that what well, I was trying to say? Was that the location of the murder? I was gonna do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kids saw to reveal itself, but... Uh, I ain't doing that. Seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that. Wow. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know? That desperate to just get in there. Anyways, okay. I seriously need to check the footage because I need to make sure the camera even I, got I'm hearing I just saw something. a moment ago. Alright, so it looks exactly what I saw. I couldn't see pretty it. Pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. I don't know if you it guys. It also could. looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guards were talking about. Alright. It just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. Multiple. The voice Multiple that kept saying down? off. Off. Who was that? Sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. It's like they Let's, all have different uh, means of communication. Let's go ahead and turn the spirit box back on. See if we can get anyone else here to talk with me and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. That sounds if like not, a plan to me. I'm probably going to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> oh! Holy shit. Oh, that's actually Hello? so messed up. Oh my gosh. That's got to be one of the children. What are you doing, huh? There's a prank by the manager? Look at that. Now she's gone. There's so many places Hold she up. could hide. Let me grab the case so I can see what that's about. The case? What's the case? What's in, what is in there? This is very eerie. There's something incredibly unsettling about seeing this whole thing play out without really any pauses. So the night guard's gonna be back there. Got those paper plates, we see them. Yep, there they are. The famous trio. Party rooms. With no windows? This is such a weird place to have parties, man. Oh. Huh, well, there he is. I guess that explains where you were the entire time. Yeah, well, good stuff. Let's go. We got I'm, it. Uh, don't, don't. I'm having a bit of a hard time believing you were left like that, though. Looks thrown down. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I oh, guess now's no. a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact oh, controlling no. the animatronics themselves. In the furthest corner away from the going door, in guys. With the big guns now. In a dead end. I'm going to set up an ovulus for this session. What's an ovulus? 
loud, so hopefully I can get some clearly spoken That's what words. the- is, is that where the, uh, wait, what is this? Never heard of an ovulus, so I'm kind of right. interested now. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? How does it work? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me. He wants clarity on this one. I of course mean you no harm. Shine that flashlight on that buddy, I want to see that I face. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. No more questions. That e the EMF is picking up. Did, uh, did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. I've never What's heard of this name? bit of kid before. It's so weird. Gabriel. Gabriel. Wow, All that's right. clear. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? No, don't. Don't. I don't want to know. Bear. Bear. He's in the suit. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? He's in. He's going to say no. He's in the bear. Inside. Inside. Oh. <laughs> are you the one who moved the bear in here? Let's know. Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I don't think he's I'm not going to assume you're going to He's trapped. screaming that one. You're... You're trapped inside that thing? How did you get trapped? How do we get you out? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. I hope this guy gets How out alive. How did you get trapped in that thing? Would love to see a continuation of this. I, I don't know, like, they always die at the end. Let this okay, guy Okay, well, if you're sick. still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Let us know, Gabriel, and we'll stop. Okay. Man. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Knife is gonna say, I think. Maybe just... There it is again. Murder. Second time. That's exactly what Susie said. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? He's gonna say bunny again, don't tell me. Him. Him? What, Freddy? what do you mean him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Don't tell me he's right behind me. Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if you help me out... He must die, 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 die. die. He will be. I assume you're talking about your killer. He's so casual! <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but I'm willing to find him and make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. So and he's Tell alive. me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Come on, Gabriel, you gotta speak up. It's like he's saving it for himself. Do you so remember do what it. he looked like? What he was wearing? These are the important questions, dude. I'm getting freaked out with this thing. Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. Dude, I was told by the restaurant the owner time. that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Oh. Yes. Yes. Interesting. It's too. Did you like, ever see his face? Can you describe it to, to me? Be not real. Or well, not. You know, a piece of junk. No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. Man, he All right. Even so know one last thing it. I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she yep. mentioned something about someone Does in a bunch. Does distant suit. door open? Does that sound familiar to you? Yo. Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Get out. Do it. Why? Why do you want me to leave, Gabriel? Get out. He's gonna say he's here. Out. Oh Have my I said God. something to upset you? Get out. Leave, man. If you know what's good for you, you listen to him. What the? F Why did this just go out? Oh, the suit is being possessed, what? I think. What the? F Get out, dude. He told you what to do. Skip your equipment. Whoa, run. Whoa, whoa, what the? F Holy. Sh Gosh, no. I would break those windows so hard with my head. Yes. Jump out. Skip the cuts you get. You're gonna live. Don't tell me he got taken in. No way. That is so sick, man. That was the killer right there. So what, he's still alive? He's able to like almost control these things on a telepathic level? Or I guess he could just simply press the button to override the suit. What's messed up about that sequence though 
is the fact that obviously the child is trapped within, for example, the Freddy Fazbear suit. Once that guy comes in, presses a button in order to initiate the suit to attack, it's like that child will be doing that and have to experience killing someone with no way of stopping what's happening. It's just, that's such a horrific concept. Yo, this was just a wild episode, man. I could not believe how good the FNAF VHS stuff is getting right now, especially Spectre. Like, that was such a unique twist on everything to actually really feel like we're living and experiencing this whole thing as it goes down. That was a different perspective and it just breathed so much fresh life into this whole VHS thing. Guys, you wanna see any of these stuff that I just reacted to? You can check that link down below. I'm sure these creators have even more content on their channels if you wanna go ahead and look for it. Let me know what you guys thought though. That was a look at FNAF VHS stuff in 2023. Did not leave this one disappointed and I'm so glad that I spent the time to look through this. There are so many more creators making incredible stuff like this too, so no doubt we'll be back again for another video real soon looking at some more. But for this one, however, this is gonna be everything and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like creating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, yeah, these tapes, how do they get more terrifying as time goes on?